Hello everybody, it is Kellaxon and Hunter here, and if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that you guys should become patrons over on Patreon if you guys want to join our Discord server and stuff like that. So today we are going to be sort of talking about, like, our feedback and our, um, I guess our review, if you want to call it that, of Ruby Amity Arena. I have had a more prolonged experience with it than Hunter I has. Two Hunter games played two games over ten minutes in which I lost both. One but spectacular, one still by a, a margin, but not as wide a margin. Did you have fun though? I get. I can see myself liking it. If you had longer, and if, if I gave you a beta cup, yes, <laughs> which was uh, neglectful of me, and I definitely forgot. Anyway, though, I have some things to say. Okay. Um, I really like the attention to detail in the character cards. So basically every character has a card and all of the cards have sort of like a description, mm -hmm. if you want to call it that. So for Weiss, it has like, uh, Weiss is the heiress of the Snee Dust Company. And she seems like a, like a snooty girl at first, but really deep down, you know what I mean? Like it's sort of stuff like that. That's not a quote for quote or anything. I don't remember exactly what they all say. Um, but I really like the attention to detail uh, that is... It's also there. kind of world building, is it not? Yeah, like having because all this so something that I found really it. interesting was that uh, Nora's card said, uh, you know, most people pity Lyren who has to deal with Nora on a regular basis, but little do they know that she is his salvation. And I'm like, that's never really said in this show. Like, that's a really cute sort of character interaction moment, you know, <laughs> or I guess, yeah, a character beat. Like, just something that we haven't seen before, because we know, like, their relationship, right? We know how much, you know, Ren cares about Nora, but they've never necessarily said it like that. Like, you know, his salvation is a pretty strong word, or whatever it said. It was something along the lines of that. Um, so I thought that that was really cool. Um, I like all how you can play as Grimm. Like, at first I thought it was just gonna be Ruby characters, sort of like Ruby Grimm Eclipse. This game is nothing like Ruby Grimm Eclipse. It's actually good, so... <laughs> well, you guys get points for that. Anyway, um... So, I like how you also have sort of different Blakes, if that makes sense, or I'm guessing there are gonna be, like, different, I don't know, like, different Weisses. Like, maybe there's one with Weiss later where you can summon her knight. Right? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Because there's a ribbit- mm -hmm. Is that turret seriously on zero health right now? What? Come on, guys! Uh, what? what the hell? That's some fucking bullshit! Anyway, sorry, this is supposed like, oh, to be it's a review such a fun video. Game, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, yeah. I will hail! Anyway! <laughs> I, will I mean, that just shows how it. invested I am in the game. Like, when we usually do games where we record Ruby videos, right? Like, when we usually talk about them, we usually don't really get invested in what's going on in the game. Like, we stay on topic. Like, if we're doing a shipping video or if we're doing a theory video, it's like we never pay attention to what's going on inside of the game. But with this one, it's really hard not to. Because, <laughs> like, oh, like, that's infuriating, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's just stuff like that, right? Um, so Something else that I sort of like is kind of what I already mentioned, like, there's a bunch of different characters, like, you can play as White Fang members, you can play as Grimm, uh, there's lots of Grimm to sort of choose from from the show. All of that sort of stuff. Uh, I like all the different range of abilities, um, everything sort of like that. I really like, also, I guess, the- I, I, like I said, the attention to detail in terms of the stuff from the show. Because, like, I think the worry when you don't have Rooster Teeth doing it themselves is that, like, oh, these people don't know anything about Ruby, like, they're gonna fuck it up, right? But no, they haven't. But they... maybe it's probably better to have, like, someone else who knows how to run a- do a game. Yeah. Like, do it. Set and yeah. Do it. Themselves. And, like, I think that everything's, like, pretty fun. Like, I could see- this is the sort of game that- this is what I'm mad about. So the beta only runs from 3 to 9 for us, for EST. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of game where I would wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> and play in bed, and then realize that it's been four hours and I have to go to school and cry. <laughs> you so know what I mean? basically what so, that Kingdom Hearts mobile game was in high school. For yeah, you. exactly. And so, like, uh, that's my only thing. And I understand why they did this. Like, they wanted to- kind of put people against each other in prime time but that's gonna be my favorite thing about this game when it comes out proper like is being like in bed at three in the morning and playing this game oh, um God. so yeah i like i like all the characters that they have so far i like all the cards um but i do have some concerns <laughs> okay so when you enter into a draw you don't get anything which kind of sucks because it's like, why would I stay here if I know that, like, we're both so equally matched that neither of us are gonna get shit about shit, you know what I mean? Um, and so... 
for me, it's like, I feel like you should get, both parties should get points in that case, because, okay, you're both good enough that you're fighting each other and neither of you can win, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, that's what a draw means to me, is that you're both of such equal skill uh, that you just can't get past each other, so you should both go up a little bit, in that case, maybe, uh, instead of it just being zero, because getting trophies of the same amount would basically be zero, if that makes sense. Like, if you have... I mean, I guess you would have to be sort of at the same sc score, but if you both get nothing, that's the same as you both getting the same amount. Mm -hmm. And getting the same amount looks better. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I got nothing! Oh, I got five trophies, or whatever, right? It just, it functions, like, it looks nicer and less disheartening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially because, again, a draw isn't you losing, you were just both so good that you couldn't beat each other, which, so you know. stay negative. Exactly. Um, the other thing is, uh, like, we've gotten a lot of these, like, jewel things or whatever, but I'm kind of concerned about how that's gonna work in the game, because I'm gonna show you guys. So right now you get missions, and some of your missions have, like, rewards or whatever. Um, you know what I mean? And we got a lot of them. I'm just sort of worried about, like, I guess the crate and stuff like they're not lo I don't want to call them loot boxes because you kind of know what you're getting like each in the lobby it shows you all of the attainable units when you buy a crate so you can get any from this and then you can get any from from these Ooh. right so you can get you know you can get that crow crow where that's Nolan who the fuck is Nolan from team bronze he has oh, a cat yeah. fraud. Anyway. Everyone's, everyone's everyone's favorite character. <laughs> well, I mean, Nolan. it just shows how they're going into the game, if that makes sense, right? Okay. How much they're doing. Uh, so that's just kind of what I'm worried about, because I, I don't think it's, like, necessarily random, but I'm like, am I ever going to have enough jewels to upgrade everything? Because even this week I was struggling to, like, upgrade stuff, and it's been three days, and I guess, like, retrospectively, in three days I've done, like, a lot, and so you're probably, like, it depends on how long it's supposed to take you to get here, you know what I mean? Because in three days, people are already at, like, 3,000 trophies or whatever, so they've already unlocked pretty much everything, I think. Yeah, so this is, they've unlocked the last arena because they've gotten so high, and so maybe I'm just bad, <laughs> but, um, that's just something I'm kind of worried about, is, like, how fast you're supposed to progress, because even now I got, like, stuck in some places if that makes sense but i think that a lot of games have like events where you get jewels and that seems to be where this is going uh in that direction if that makes sense like again another game that kind of has a sort of card system for kingdom hearts union cross it's like oh complete this mission and get and get jewels or whatever they have in that game right mm -hmm. um and so you can like get a lot of jewels and the difference between this and kingdom hearts though is that in the Kingdom Hearts game, for completing a certain amount of story modes, you get jewels. You get 500 or whatever. Yes. Um, this game seems to be a little lower, I guess, like because it'll take 5,000 jewels for you in Kingdom Hearts to basically do anything. But in this one, it's like, oh, it's only 230, right? Um, so I guess it's just like about how the currency system is going to work. Like, how much of something is it going to take to actually progress in the game and all that. Um, cause right now I'm like, I don't want to put real money into this game, but at the same time, like, mm, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, you can also use jewels to buy the Lien, and you get Lien when you win, uh, and this is something else that I'm gonna put. I think that you should be able to get the Lien without opening a crate, because right now you're forced to open crates, that's another thing, we should be able to refuse the crates. Some of the crates are shitty. Um, you know, I got a gold crate and then a scrap crate, and I had to open both of them because it wouldn't let me refuse. I'm guessing that's going to be something in the future, what but in terms of right now. So, like, if you get a crate, you have to use a key. But yeah. what if you don't want to use a key on something shitty? You just okay. say, no thanks, I don't want that crate okay, today. You know what I mean? After you, you win a game, a, you get a crate. And you only have a, 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 just you only a certain, have a certain amount, of amount of keys. So here are our keys, and then you have to buy more keys if you okay. run out of keys. So that's my other, like, not my problem, but my worry is, like, okay, I'm forced to use keys on these shitty crates, and then I'll have to use more, like, of these to put into the, to, the yes. keys to get more crates that are bad. So you wish, um, pardon me, for a, like, I, I like it better when sort of loot boxes are there if you want it. But, but you do get crates for free after you win, right? Okay. And they do give you cards to, like, level. So I guess it's more like a, like, if you really want to put money into it, here's all the stuff you could get sort of thing. Okay. Um, the other thing, though, is that, like, the other thing that I'm kind of worried about is also like the Lien, like it doesn't seem like you get a lot 
when you win, because some of the crates give you five. But, like, look how much it takes to upgrade. Uh, I can't upgrade anyone, like, now. Uh, John takes 2,000, right? So that's a little, that's a little jarring, you know what I'm saying? But I think that when they incorporate events, and especially group events, it'll be okay, if that makes sense, because, like... In, in other games, especially, I, I keep comparing this to Union Cross, it literally reminds me exactly like that, even though the function, like, Union Cross is a story where you have missions and then you fight stuff. It's nothing like the turret defense, but they use the same card system and they use the, the same, like, you know, use jewels to get cards, right? So that's why I'm comparing it so much. Um... But in that game, the aca the academy or the party in Union Cross really help with getting jewels. Because if you're ranked a certain place with your academy, you'll get more jewels and that'll kind of help you. And Union Cross just gives out free jewels all the time. It's like, oh, we had downtime, here's some jewels. Oh, uh, you know, we messed up this text when we made an announcement, here's some jewels. You know, it's they an just Arbor fucking Day. give it away. You know what I mean? I would so love for Rooster Teeth to fuck <laughs> something up real bad and then... Here's free Rooster Teeth gift card. No. Oh, um, uh, shit. But yeah, I think with the events, it'll be easier to get them, and so I'm not that worried about it, but it is something that I kind of wanted to, to bring up. So refusing the crates, getting stuff even if you draw, because that just means you were both good. Um, the key thing, like, I'm just worried, like... If we're, we're not able to refuse the crates, the key thing is concerning, you know what I mean? Uh, but we should be able to refuse them, I think that is something that they'll do. Um, I guess I'm just more curious about the jewel element though, because again, is this supposed to take me a week to get to? Is this supposed to take me a month to get to? Like, because they were giving us jewels so we can try stuff out, right? Um, like, they were giving- they gave us, like, 50,000 today. <laughs> like, in terms of, like, the actual game, how long is it supposed to take for us to get where we are currently right now? Because that'll sort of- if it takes a month to get here, I'll be a little worried. If it takes, like, two weeks, you know, depending on- two weeks without putting any of your own money, money in, I'd be like, yeah, that's reasonable. Like, that seems realistic. Because, like, I only have the second arena unlocked, and if you want the game to sort of have longevity for people, and there's more than uh, just these arenas, too, like, every two weeks or every three weeks, depending on how much you play to get to a goal, um, doesn't seem that bad. Okay. You know? I kind of dig it's sort of like a mix of like. Also, a... the art style is beautiful. I didn't say that. Yes, at the beginning. I did. I do like. I like how Yang looks. I like how all the card looks. I like. I'll show you guys. Some I more. think they're a little weird when they're just sort of on the field, but nonetheless, I, a lot of the two D art's nice. Well, remember this I... is beta, so I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure they'll clean up some animations and stuff like that as well. I also really like it's. I like it's. It has a sort of like a Yu-Gi-Oh cross with a power defense Starcraft feel to it. Where you have to like do strategy with deck construction, but then there is on the moment sort like of like strategy. a little bit strategizing, yeah. like you would see in a sort of Starcraft. And okay, so here's the other thing. So I'm having trouble moving around cards. So what I'd like to do is click this and be able to drag it into the cards and then drag another one in. But right now the only way to like put someone in is to say I want to use John. I have to like replace him with someone, and I can't move around the deck. Nice. If that makes sense. Like, I'd like to order the deck, and I don't know if the deck order matters. Like, to me, it seems like it just randomizes when you get in the game. But, like, that's part of any good strategy game, is the order that your deck is supposed to go in. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? Well, they don't let you pick the order of your deck in... When? Not in, in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, not in Yu-Gi-Oh, but not I mean Pokemon. other other games. Not in Magic. I'm pretty sure... Not in Hearthstone. I, I'm... I think it's random in literally all of the major really? ones. Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. Because I play games and they let you put put the stuff where they, they're supposed to go. <laughs> well, I think it's a little different in, like, Kingdom Hearts. Well, that's that's what I was thinking about, okay. but I also was playing another card game before, and I don't remember what it's called. Chaotix? No. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, again, not to compare to Union Cross, but in Union Cross, it does let you put your shit where, you know, wherever you feel like. You know what I mean? I don't know if that would ruin the game. Like, I don't know if that would break the game, but if everybody could put their stuff where they want to, it shouldn't be a problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, in terms of unfair advantages, like, as long as we can all move it around, it should be fine. Because that's what's confusing. So you have different deck types, but the thing is, you can't order them anyway. So it's like, why do- I mean, I guess to have different cards or whatever, but like, I would like to have, like, sort of like, here's order one with all these cards, here's another order with these same cards, here's another order with different cards. I don't know. I don't know if I don't play enough card games to know how things are supposed to yeah, be randomized. I think that's it's but I've, like, 
I remember, I don't remember what it was anymore, but it let you, like, just, you know, have, have the order you have, like, you never had to shuffle your deck. <laughs> But yeah, okay, that's a good point. Um, Alright, champ, you try your best. I mean, I don't know, it's just something for them to consider. If they're like, Cal, usually games like this run like this, I'll be like, oh, well, I didn't know that. I just want to put my stuff where I want. You ever play a game and you wish you were kind of playing a game that was sort of different? Because when I was playing that and then when there was like a, like a, a rush of those little, like, killer grim people, I'm like, ah, oh, this, like, reminds me of StarCraft. Wouldn't it be crazy if Ruby made a StarCraft game? Oh, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, this is kind of all that I have to say. I really like the game. I want to see it thrive and improve and stuff. Um, I don't know what other feedback I can give, because again, I don't usually play games like this, and so my ideas or my feedback is teetering on being ignorant about how card games work. <laughs> I guess maybe. You know what I mean? Um, but the only, the closest thing I can draw, because the Miraculous Ladybug game is a running game where you move your character across the screen and you yeah. have to collect stuff. Probably like, like kind of like Temple Run, run yeah. right? And so like the only thing that I have in my arsenal that I can compare this to is Union Cross, and so that's all that I sort of have. So you'll be also, comparing a lot of Union people, Cross all the way down. A lot of people say this is like another game called Clash Royale. I've never heard of that, and I don't know oh, what it is. Yeah. Um, but they actually say something about that, and I thought this was pretty funny. Let's see if I can find it. Um, okay, I received that. I don't, I don't know where to look for it anymore. I think Messages? maybe... Yeah, where, where the freak are my messages? <laughs> Obviously, I haven't been playing this enough. I don't know where I'm going. Um, but they basically, like, had, like, I guess notification things on the screen. Yeah, I wonder where it is now. That's weird. Oh, maybe notices, right. Okay, so they had notices on the screen and they had like, it seems like some of our test parameters were not good enough for some of your abilities. Some of our test subjects went so far off the charts they reached the underdevelopment zone in our code and activated a security AI protocol. Our network defenses were no match for you and you proceeded to plummet our, your way into an incredible number of trophies. We allowed this impressive display of skill. However, our network defensive were no match. Oh, okay, so they put that twice. Our final results, however, are uh, unblemished and have crowned the top rankers. All right, so there was like a ranking contest, and that's so funny. So wow. basically, we broke the game. Is that what you're telling us? Well, that's why you have betas. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, um. I don't remember what they said, but they were like, oh, this game may look familiar, but don't be fooled. So they're kind of acknowledging, I guess, that it looks similar to the other game, yeah, but, um... Mean, but then again, everyone sort of operates on other That's people. so funny, because I was like, are they supposed to be going that high? They're at, like, 4,000 trophies, and, like, the top is 1,000 or whatever, like, for the arena. So I'm like, are y'all okay? What are you doing? <laughs> I think that's hilarious. That's a good way to end this video. We broke the game. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's my that's my sort of feedback of things. Um, I'm really glad about the Academy thing. That was what I wanted to do most. Like, I'd like to have a Kellax and Academy where you guys can join. I don't know what the player limit would be. So it may be, like, if only 30 people can come in, I'll limit it to patrons, I guess. Um, instead of subscribers, because, like, all 8,000 of you trying to get into the <laughs> trying to get into the Academy may not go that well. Um... Oh but yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say. I realized I hadn't been playing. I got so distracted by talking. But we're going to play more for the rest of the day today, I think. And I'm going to try to show Hunter how the game works. But yeah, um, that's my feedback. That's it. That's all I have to say. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Huge special thank you to all of our patrons today. Uh, thank you so much to our $100 patron, Percy. And thank you to, of course, all of our other patrons. I got like three patrons yesterday and it was just crazy and surreal. Uh, thank you to all our $10 patrons. And of course, they get to request topics for us to do uh, videos on or about. Uh, thank you guys for my $5 patrons. And you guys get early access to basically everything that I make, ever make, will make, <laughs> and all of that stuff. And Thank you to our $1 patrons who, of course, uh, get to hear me uh, rant and ramble, not only in my videos, but on the Discord. Bye, guys.